Hello Tubesters, it's Gav, welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're looking at 6mm again. Uh, I've just, I bought a couple of samples off a, a company called 2D6 Wargaming. A gentleman has got a channel, I don't think he gets updated a huge amount, but uh, he has, in fact I don't, I'm sure if it's been, when I looked at it the other day, I don't think it's been updated for a year, I might be wrong. Uh, but... I bought a couple of samples, and I, I, I do say I bought them, that I wasn't giving them. Uh, because I wanted to see what else was out there uh, that was affordable, really. Um, the I bought that eBay job lot, which turned out to be not as good as I'd hoped. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I think there's more scrap... scrap uh, Led for doing uh, uh, tail weight and that on on jets in one in seventy two scale and one in forty eight scale and <laughs> and there is an actually usable material in there really, but you've got to take a punt sometimes and sometimes it doesn't work. But uh, yeah, GHQ GHQ is really good. Uh, the the ones I showed earlier, which I I believe are heroics and Ross. Because uh, I, I recognise them, some of them from back in the eighties when I I had them. They are like one in three hundred scale, so they're the slightly smaller end uh, of the six mil scale. Uh, again, you six mil gamers out there are you know are drifting and out of stuff. I'm not trying to um, throw massive opinions out there or or um, try and you know have some font of knowledge because I don't. Uh, I'm just saying. It, I believe that one in three hundred is a, is a slightly smaller scale. Uh, there's no massive drawbacks for me on that uh, painting wise. I'm going to show you a few. I've only painted a few so far because I'm literally doing them amongst all the other projects. Uh, I've got them on on ice lolly sticks and I just do some, you know, as and when. Um, and we'll go into that in a minute. So I've seen two D sixes stuff on his videos. You know, he's put on one of his one minute videos. Um, and to be honest with you, these videos don't do them justice. Uh, I, I was really impressed with them. Uh, also, I was surprised. I, I think, uh, you know, people can shoot me down. I, I, I think that there's not a problem using them on along with this 1 in 300 stuff. I know they are slightly bigger, but they're not that bigger that they make, to me, they make that much of a difference. I don't know. People may seem... We'll show, I'll show a couple of... I mean, I've only got about four or five samples. And to be fair... Uh, 2D6 obviously is a growing business and as we all know um, it takes money and it takes time so there isn't a huge amount out there I do like his infantry and um, I'm going to be putting an order in for some infantry uh, he's only got Mediterranean infantry at the moment so if, like um, Commonwealth forces in uh, or Empire forces what you want to call them in uh, shorts uh, because it's from the Mediterranean uh, theatre he does uh, some I, th I think Germans and, and, and um, obviously he does Germans, but he, he's got, uh, I, I'm very much, he's got a, the Battle of Crete centric, uh, some stuff for that. Uh, and uh, I'm very interested in the Battle of Crete. I've got a few books on the Battle of Crete. So uh, I'll be looking at the, and I also like, although I've got all this stuff for, <laughs> for Normandy 44 and, you know, some American stuff even for Ardennes and all that. Um, I'm very much, I like the early war period. I like uh, Norway, France, and uh, and yeah, I know there's Poland as well, but uh, particularly uh, where British units were really. Uh, Norway, France, uh, and North Africa, but I'm more, I'm more interested in Crete and the and the, the Greek campaign, uh, where I'm gonna say British, I'm, I'm saying empire forces. Uh, so yeah, I bought a couple of samples and Communication has been really great. Uh, there was one, one stuff up in the order. In the in the order, got no problem with that. I literally got an email. I sent an email, and literally, I got a reply a couple of minutes later. Yes, I know it all depends where people are to give you replies and all that, and that might have just been lucky. But the two D six stuff was really well packed. Uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, sculpts and casting. Um, and very impressed. I'm really impressed. The only downside for me is there's not enough of it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I'd like, I'd like, I'd love, I'd love him to do some Matildas. 
yeah, because if you've got that Mediterranean uh, Balkan campaigns uh, we could do with some Matildas definitely uh, going back to the okay, going, this is me all over isn't it uh, GHQ lovely lovely stuff uh, it's just so un I'm on a budget and it is really expensive uh, for me uh, and because our pound is tanking against just about every currency in the world at the moment for our importers the shops that import GHQ stuff um, by the time you know they've paid obviously with the, with, with the the difference in the pound and that plus they're obviously they've got to put their bit of profit on top it's just really making them for me it was just really unaffordable you know it's uh it's, it's just a shame a uh, little violin you know it's what it is you know it's that's why i cruise about looking at these one in 300s uh second hand stuff you know um if it takes me a year or so i'll just keep adding little bits and pieces to the one in 300s with the heroics and ross but and i want to look at bacchus as well i believe the bacchus may be a bit bigger um, but they now have a quite really nice developing range uh, when i look at their stuff it looks some 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 really nice stuff uh, it, that will depend to a degree on scale but i'd be also quite happy to have separate units to use on se separate scenarios you know it could be bacchus one scenario and Heroics and Ross or 2D6, whatever, on, on another one. And if I can merge them, even better. But we'll see how that goes. So let's go down to the bench and take a look. Uh, we'll look at the 2D6 because at first, uh, mainly because it's review and I know guys like to see new stuff. But then I just want to put it roughly alongside what I've I've got of the, the, the stuff I was showing you in a, a couple of videos ago. Also, thank you very, very much to all those that did respond and give me a helping hand uh, I was probably being a bit lazy. I, I'm not a complete numpty, uh, and, and I wasn't doing it for clicks or whatever you, they call it. It, it. it was just that I've got a ton of books. <laughs> but do you think at the time of time of wanting to get that video out, do you think I could find the ones I wanted? Uh, so thank you very, very much to everybody that that that, uh, that could put a comment down. I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, that was that was a help no end. So anyway, guys, let's go down and take a look. Right guys, thanks for joining me at the bench. Uh, let's give 2D6 a, a shout first. As I say, I have absolutely no dealings uh, with, I believe it's Rob that runs it. Um, as I say, I, I bought them myself. Uh, I did tell him after I had to send him an email about the, the order and just to say I, I was doing a, a review video for these, um, but I genuinely have bought these myself. Yeah, and uh, there aren't many, there's, there's about <laughs> four or five um, and no infantry I'm afraid uh, I forgot it I'd, I'd, I'd stuffed I hadn't stuffed the order up so the, the the computer had gone we've got some terrible internet we've, we've changed providers and it's just it's oh it's horrible and it's stuffed up the as I was trying to do the order and when I read done the order I left the blooming infantry off didn't I and nothing to do with 2d6 just my uh, glorious internet connection right so yeah, is there anything on the other side? No, play. So yeah, 2D6 Wargaming. The guy's got a YouTube channel. Uh, just put 2D6 in, you'll find it. Um, he set a, put a set of rules out, I believe, called Battalion. Uh, and they, they're the type of... I like Battalion-ish. I, I like the bigger... bigger. It's not, it doesn't have to be the bigger game, as in like some giant table, because I'd do... All mine would probably be solo on our kitchen table, like, but... Uh, um, but yeah, I, I like the. Uh, that's what for me, six mils all about. It's yes, you can have smaller games on the on a very small table, um, but you can have larger games on do, with the one to one that uh, the six mil can give you. Right, so here we have our Panzer four. I think that it, it's again we're going to have. Let me put some shadow over it so you can see the detail. Bearing in mind on my nail, that's a that's a six mil tank. For those that have never don't know anything about it, we've got our side skirts on. Lovely wheel detail. Um, I'll put it next to. 
in a moment. I'll put it in there. The problem is now is trying to... It was all... <laughs> That's not going to show anything, is it? <laughs> How far away are they? Right, this is the one of the old heroics and Ross I got out the, the pile. Now, to me, that isn't that isn't that far out. Oh, hang on, let's go back a bit. Now this is a, a lot older design. Uh, this is I take it all three D, I presume, but. Obviously, it's got a lot more. We've got some track on the front. Uh, as you can just see there, it'll come up better when it, when I've got, I've painted them up. Uh, but I wasn't I wasn't uh, put off by that at all. I thought, well, if two if two D six keeps knocking them out like this, I'd be happy. I'll put in a few gaff. I'd be happy to run those alongside each other. To be honest with you, I'm not a you know I'm not that pretty about it. And that's nothing wrong with all the pretty people out there that might have a problem with it. Uh, but yeah, there, there's obviously a lot more, a lot more detail. Uh, barrels are all the, the, the barrels came. They're all nicely wrapped up in tissue paper, uh, which I believe is better than a bubble wrap myself, because uh, it, it it packs out the the, the little the postage. You know, they, you get these little. Where are we? Let's show it easier. So you get them in these little postage, easy letterbox is the word I'm after. Oh, don't try and make videos, Gav, when uh, you've got any problems. Right. So yeah, I'm actually quite happy with those. I thought together they ain't that they ain't that much bigger. Uh, wider, yes, but we're not seeing some giant. You know, we're not seeing it like three mil bigger than. Taller than the other one, than the Heroics and Ross one, which I believe is Heroics and Ross. You can see the bracing for the skirts around the turret. Uh, excellent. I was really impressed when I when I got them out the the paper. Uh, hollowed out there. Uh, this guy here has just got a bit. Of, I've left it just to show because I like to give an honest review. Bit of clag around there, but that ain't going to take you five minutes to knock that out. Um, but again, really, really nice. And we'll look to a very older one. See the deck there. Um, but no, I'm extremely impressed with those. Now, the one I was really wanting to see, uh, apart from, well, I'll, on the German side anyway, because uh, he does a Tiger, I, be I believe he does a Tiger, and he's got a few different Panthers. I presume because they can just change the the um, the mould slightly, and obviously, if you're, I would have thought doing, it's like model makers. People say, "Oh, not another Spitfire, not another Stuka, whatever," but you need those selling uh, bits of kit before you can do your bridge layers or your whatever, you know. Uh, but yeah. This is the howitzer version, the early one. Now, I've got photographs of these in Normandy as well. There was some uh, being used still in Normandy in 44. Um, obviously, it's got a lower velocity because uh, it's, 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 it's more for firing HE. Uh, it can take on tanks, but obviously not in any way, shape or form like it's uh, some of its brethren. Um, but this was the one I was interested in. They've even got it in like a how it's. I mean, there's a bit of flash around there again. It's going to take you two seconds with a scalpel to flick that off. Um, but I like to just show, as I say, if I do a review, I like to show it how I get it. Um, but look at the detail in that. That's beautiful. Exhaust. Look at the detail on that exhaust. This is six mil, guys. I don't even. Was it 285 or whatever? We've got spare road wheels. Oh, lovely. Really, really nice. I say just that bit of flash, but this is this was the one that took, caught my eye. The un I like the unglamorous ones, and I've always liked these howitzer versions. And I do plan at some stage to do a one in thirty-five scale, uh, but not for a couple of years. Not with the amount of uh, models I've got uh, in storage at the moment. Lovely, got our MG. I doubt there's an. M oh, there is as well. I mean, is it always that mold line? I don't know. 
if that's a mold line or not but we've got I don't think it is I think it's supposed to be the MG but uh, yeah really really nice very impressed with those you've got towing cable at the back as well that really came up to expectations uh, we've got a let me just have a look I oh, know this is bad this isn't it I just call them the light tanks <laughs> uh, it's the Mark 6B which was that the very later ones you'll see these in the western desert up on the uh, on the Italian border um, you'll see them in well done about the Mark 6 I don't know if the Mark 6 was actually in France I'm not sure 100% but uh, they had 10 of these I believe on Crete see I'm more you know a lot of people love what's got to be loads and loads of tanks but I'm quite happy with with infantry to be honest with you as an ex-infantryman uh, and then supported by you know these different guys but they've got the rivets on there these were three men tanks or the later ones were anyway they made a, a slightly bigger compartment a slightly bigger turret I believe for the radio um, the commander had to use the radio uh, and we had a, a gunner and a driver and the engine actually sits normally sits right next to the driver in fact I think that's the exhaust there but I love these little tanks uh, they could especially on Crete they could break down quite easy just being quite flimsy and obviously that's a quite stony terrain but we've got that Carden Lloyd I believe Carden Lloyd uh, suspension and that here is our I bought a Bren carrier as well, or a universal carrier, whatever you want to call them. Um, but we tended to call them Bren carriers in the UK. But you can see where the uh, where the similarities are with like the suspension and all that. Uh, so let's just show you quickly the Bren carrier as well. Come on, focus. There we go. We've got a couple of fellas in there with the uh, tin lids on. lovely stuff really really nice so impressed with these now again for I haven't got a light tank I can show you but I've got some brain uh, some of those brain carriers out from the heroics and Ross uh, lengthwise so scientific this isn't it but that's that's again it's not that far out height wise it is it is slightly taller but to be fair with my strained eyesight these days and whatever I'd run those with the heroics and rust it wouldn't really bother me again I'm not uh, if it was a lot bigger then yeah, you know fair enough but um, as I say I'm gonna have to get some backers in a in a you know another couple of weeks or whatever and just check them out um, I would definitely I would definitely be happy uh, to to buy 2d6 stuff if uh, they could get more stuff out um, as I say I'd like to see I'd definitely like to see some Matildas because I could use Matildas uh, I'm not sure about if this was the exact mark of tank for for France in 1940 but you could proxy that I mean come on Not bad but um, you know you could do if you, you got these you could do France you can do obviously North Africa um, you've got the universal carriers so we've got a load of stuff what we could do with is some um, I'm not sure if they do any six pounder uh, two pounders and that yet I think they do probably but we could definitely do with some Matildas um, I'd be uh, I'd be more interested in uh, getting some of those um, some British lorries of, of different descriptions um, and some infantry not in shorts <laughs> just <laughs> you know just just so we could do France as well in the early early stages and some uh, the, the, what are the cruiser tanks the, the early ones oh, forget now but the, the, those early cruiser tanks as well again anything that we can use in uh, in the Balkans and uh, and France right so 
Yeah, as I say, next to Heroics and Russ, wider, yes, uh, slightly taller, uh, but I'm not really that that fussed really. Once I've got a bit of paint on them, so that's that. Let's get those parking lots over there. Just wanted to show you some of the the painted ones I've done. Not a lot, a couple of half tracks. Um, I paint mine really, really light, and they don't look so. They don't look great and let's just go back slightly if you look they look better from a distance <laughs> but I don't mean the sculpts but my, the way I've done them yeah I, I paint them really light now let's just get one where well, this guy's just painting them green and with a bit of black oh true you know classic old school this is uh, mine were painted the same in the 80s uh, no there's no door stuff on you have to do a, I, I do a you know, I make a door out of doing a dark, uh, high, a dark shadow area, and then a light highlight right next to it, and that'll give you a, a standout door of a rough shape, bit of a slot for the uh, looking out the side. Uh, I've put a couple of invasion stars on them, or allied stars, I should say. They're not brilliant, but you know, again, they do uh, keep the the, the track. I know they're rubber black anyway, but on some of the metal tracks, I often keep them black as well. Because again, from a distance, I put some shadow lines in. Uh, these were they carried. They carried mines, and that didn't they, if I remember rightly, anti-personnel mines and stuff in a. This is a rack on the side of the side of the half track. Uh, I couldn't really replicate that. It's just had to remain solid. But I put a black line just to put some shadow in and around the back there. Again, it looks overpowering um, until you actually get further back from it. Uh, I kept the. Ground cover. I might. I've got some broken shale. I might actually mash some of that up a bit finer and, and mix it up more with with the sand, just to give it a bit more variation. Uh, I wanted to keep the 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 base light as well. Uh, I've painted the grass on. Uh, I didn't think I have got some little scatter. Some some. It's it's more or less the rubberized bushes really that they've obviously chopped up into like blended in in, in like a blender, um, but. When it comes to that scale, I just thought, you know what, painted grass to me looks better at that scale. That's just my honest opinion. Uh, and then I just broke up a couple of bits of woodland scenics again to, to put some bushes on. Might paint the bushes, but I think that's probably going over the top a bit really. But I might do just to. But I wanted the bushes a bit a bit brighter to shine to to show out. Painted on some. They're only painted on. They're not they've not been put in the sand or anything. Just some tracks. Just to show you know a bit of variation, uh, I try and move the move the the, the, the vehicles around at a slight angle rather than straight on, and and vary the green patches. Obviously, because it I didn't want it all green, so this tends to hopefully uh, put a, like a frame around the vehicle. Uh, these edges will be black by the way, I just haven't got around to it yet. As I say, I'm doing these uh, just hop and a catch. There's our Cromwell. Now these Cromwells, obviously the Brits had uh, different triangles, circles and squares to denote the squadrons, I believe. Uh, I'm debating and also the stars on the back. The problem for me is there's no way I'm going to be able to draw a circle <laughs> in, uh, in white. Uh, I didn't these have the circle on the deck with the star in the middle. I might be wrong, um, but I do intend to do a bit of, you know, a bit, bit, bit more paint work on that just to put an uh, allied star on or something. Uh, again, I've put some tank tracks in there. Here's our two mark fours painted up. Got a little Balkan cross on the side. Again, up close, they don't look particularly, you know. Oh, and I had to score the sides of these, just put so I probably, I think I've added one too many shirts and screen on, but who's counting? Here's the other one. But they don't look too bad, you know what I mean? I uh, say these are probably about, I don't know how old literally the, the actual castings are, but they could be anything up to 30, 40 years old, 50 years old even. Um, and again, just put some tank. You know, stir up the, the ground where there's the, and all I've done there is just obviously put a darker brown but then I've lined it with a black just to give it some depth to the 
so you don't have to like scrape the sand when it's wet or anything just paint your black like your brown lines on and then put a, a black line down the side got those two done and that's all I've actually got done and stuck on bases uh, I'm working on at the moment but I've got a lot on on actual lollipop sticks I'm only doing these I was painting the me one in 350 scale uh, destroyer model on my, of HMS Kent that I'm building and painting at the moment uh, yesterday but uh, I do these hop and a catch again we've got Honor mags as I call them There is green on there as well, but it's that very faded green. That I did think of doing the green slightly lighter so it would show, uh, because this is a roll colour, it is a German colour, the green, I believe that they did have on the, the tanks, and it obviously doesn't show up so well. These are still got to have one more highlight yet. What I'll do is I'll get either uh, deck tan or um, silver grey, uh, which is just a whitish grey colour, and I will go around and hard edge highlight all the edges again when you're up close they don't look great but when they're when they're down that hard edge uh, around all the boxy shapes whatever you see a little shape like on the side of the stowage bins I'll put a I'll put a shadow line around them and then I'll put a highlight around them as well uh, I'll put a couple of Balkan crosses on these because they're not massively hard to do And uh, I don't know where the others are, but oh, the, this is I've only got one more at the moment that's about to go under paint in the next few hours. Hang on, just that whatever came out of the pile, not really thought about it much. Uh, so yeah, I've I've primed them black, dry brushed them with a grey and then a white on top, which gives you this and it gives you some shadow areas. Uh, probably hit these a bit too much with a white. A uh, couple of. BMW or Zundat motorbikes there, German sidecars. Uh, but yeah, so obviously they'll end up looking like the ones you've just seen. But that's how I do them, and I use, as I say, just brighter paint than you you would do. You know, don't don't go to your go to uh, twenty eight millimeter paint or modelling paint for one in thirty five scale that tells you it's British green or whatever. I, I go for a colour that of green that's that's really brighter. And then if I have gone over the top a bit, I'll just get a darker green and put them in some of the shadow areas. And there we go. Right, guys, thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look. I uh, hope everything's going well with your projects. Uh, as I say, this is, uh, this is just one of the Gav's many, many projects on the side until finally that somebody goes, oh, my life, Gav's got a little army there or whatever I'm doing with them. Uh, I'll just you know just fancy doing them all the bases these are on uh, I, again I just went into my base collection and let's face it we've all got millions of them and I went for the 30 by 20 20 across and 30 deep just because it seemed to fit the fit the vehicles quite well protects the barrels quite you know if you push them back slightly maybe if you've got maybe a tiger or something like that the barrel might stick over the, the edge but uh, we'll wait and see um, don't know what I'll put the infantry on yet maybe 30 mil uh, 30 by 30s um, but really nice and as I say to it shows what you can do with uh, you know really old sculpts these are hard times and we're all blooming finding it harder by the day um, financially and it just shows you know you don't have to yeah these these are beautiful beautiful uh, figures but if you can't afford them and you can mooch around whether it's e although I must admit <laughs> mooching around on eBay, uh, these guys these guys still come at a, you know, people don't want to give them away type of thing. But you know, just keep mooching around, you'll be surprised what you turn up. Um, and you know, a bit of work on them if you want to put the work in. Of course you can just have them, you know, one colour and, and that's it. Um, but you know they become little I wouldn't say models in themselves well but you know they become really enjoyable little projects uh, so yeah very enjoyable um, I've got some I was watching oh, Two Fat Lardy's channel and they were showing they got showing their two millimeter um, ancient war game rules they were promoting 
but they're showing how to make uh, woods and stuff in, in with using bath mats with those bobbles on them and you know obviously when you're looking down on them they do look like trees in 2 mil uh, when they're painted up and I thought well I don't know if they'll look the same f with this scale but what they will make for definite is some lovely little orchards uh, for, for this scale you know where the trees aren't as big so I got myself a, I paid a whole seven pounds for my bath mat which should give me <laughs> probably about 30 or 40 orchards <laughs> well I had a lot of orchards in Normandy um, or, or you know maybe they will do, maybe they'll be okay for two for, for, for woods as well for six mil I don't know but if, if, if not they'll definitely make orchards so uh, we'll we'll have a look at them when I finally knock a couple out thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look as always what have I got coming up I'm not 100% sure oh we'll hopefully if I can keep pressing ahead with uh, the paintwork I'm doing on HMS Kent at the moment I'll have a, a 1 in 3 50 scale uh, modern British Type 23 frigate uh, HMS Kent that I'm building at the moment so I'll have a video of her up in the next say probably five days um, there'll be a couple more Napoleonic cavalrymen coming up in the next three or four days and when I've got something more to show uh, I'll definitely show these 2D6 under paint I will get them cleaned and primed um, probably in the next couple of days and we'll have a look at those based and, and, and painted and when I'm probably going to leave it a few days or a week or two I don't know yet I'll put another order in uh, with 2D6 for some of his infantry probably add a couple more of those light tanks because they are really cute <laughs> I do like them uh, and uh, you know we'll have a look at the infantry as well at some stage so and I'll paint some of them up because I'll, be, I'll buy a company's worth and I'll uh, I'll paint if, I'll, I'll either paint them all up before I show you or I'll just leave a stand raw because I do like to show you uh, a raw stand as well uh, the epic I've got the gun painted and crew uh, I've got some horses painted uh, I've yet to paint any riders yet and I have just taken delivery at the same time from the postman of an epic sprue uh, of infantry uh, I'm a glutton for punishment. What can I say? Uh, we'll have probably going to be a couple of weeks before you see any Normans. Uh, we've got those four four last Normans to do, uh, and that will probably be a couple of weeks before I get them all all dusted, if not longer. Uh, I keep getting diverted. What can I say? Oh, we should be getting on that 172 ME 109 uh, that's staring me under the face under a towel at the moment. So, uh, yeah, it's another 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 project. Right, guys, look after yourselves and. Uh, um, again, thank you so much for responding to to my ask for help over identifying some of these. Uh, it's been, oh, you know, I really did appreciate it. Uh, so thank you very much. Take care, and we'll speak soon on another video.